Hey everyone, this is Neil Barnhill with the Barnhill Golf Institute, helping you find your winning way. Today I want to talk about how you can share a video with me and I can give you a virtual golf lesson on my website, barnhillgolf.com. I use the V1 HD Pro software, which is uh, the gold standard in the golf business as far as software is concerned. So when you send me that video, what's going to happen is I'm going to break it down, look at it, and then I am going to pick a PGA professional or LPGA professional that is very similar in build to you and then I'm going to send you that video back split screen and I will have lines, graphics, circles, lines that show exactly the degree angle that you're in compared to the other pro and I will tell you what I see breaking it down from takeaway to halfway back, top of your swing, transition, impact position, everything. We'll carry will cover every part of your swing and setup. So when it's done, I am going to send you a written plan of attack specifically customized for you. That will step one, step two, step three. I want this in your setup taken care of. This is how you do it. I will send you that video that is just for you. And then for your in-swing thought, I will have a drill that will address your major areas of concern in your swing. And I will give you that video of that drill for you to work on. It's very specific, it'll be clear and concise about what you need to do. Now things that have worked for me in the past you doing video virtual lessons is you know maybe a week, two weeks passes depending on how much time you have to practice on these drills for you. Send me another video, I can compare it to where you started and we can see the progress, we can compare the screens and then uh, we'll give I'll give you other drills to work on. Moving forward, we can progress. It's a great way to get better, and it's why the younger players are getting better at such a younger age through this video technology. So I would recommend that you take advantage of this software. It is the best in the business. And I look forward to seeing your swing and helping you out with your golf game. Till then, talk to you soon. Hey Kyle, how you doing? I uh, just got your video. I'm looking at it. I looked at your swing and I wanted to compare you to Rory McIlroy who is on the PGA Tour and European Tour. He's one of the top five players in the world. I wanted to look at his setup here. All right, you got a couple of lines down your hips and down his hips. I wanted to see this on the back swing. Look at the setup first. Um, yeah, I think he's got probably like a nine or pitching wedge and you got a seven hour. He is definitely more in the middle of the stance. You are definitely more up. I would have you, I would move, want to move you back a couple inches, get you more centered. Watch his takeaway when he gets here. He's got a nice triangle with his arms. You do too. Um, let's go right here. Nice one piece takeaway away from the ball. Keeps the triangle intact. All right, let's watch you here. Right there, that forward press, I would like to get rid of that, and let's work on a more one-piece takeaway. You do a good job, though, of keeping your triangle there. Okay, let's stop it right there. Let's go back to Rory. Right here, he keeps turning. You can see his upper body. Everything's rotating. Let's just put a line here and show you that. Watch his chest. Just keeps turning and turning and turning and turning. And also, if we look down here at his hip, that's important. Okay, and let's look at you here. Right there is a biggie. You just swayed your legs, moved outside that right line. We're going to get rid of that, which is going to affect your turn here. It is not near as much. Look how when you sway that little bit, it it keeps you from being able to turn as much as you can on the back swing. And you can see a big difference over here at Rory. So let's go over here to Rory. Now I'm going to take some of these lines out. And I want you to watch his hips right here when he comes down. His first move, watch this. 
he is going to draw with his legs and lower body. And you can see the line up here at the top here, his head is stayed and that's is behind that where he started. And he's going to drive, drive, drive. Okay, let's watch you here. All right. Your first movement is your head. Let's rewind that. Your head is going to move a lot lateral. The lower body does a little bit, but your upper body is moving way too much. Definitely are coming over the top of it. Pretty good position there with your arms from that move you made there. You can see a lot more extension through the hitting area here with his head more down. You're twisted because of how much you were using your shoulders to come down and it's pulling your head out. So I have some drills for you. The whole goal of this was to show you some positions of a pro versus where you are and a lot of it we could change with your setup. Ball position can be more centered, take away more one piece, definitely rotate more back by keeping your right leg more posted and not swaying. Those would be the first items on the agenda to get rid of and then the coming down part would be a lot better because of a better setup and then also a proper takeaway and not swaying. So I'm going to send this to you, look it over and I believe this will be very useful and I'll send you some drills. Hey, good morning, Kyle. Want to talk about uh, your swing and your setup here from the down the line position. I've got Gary Woodland here on the right to compare you against a professional golfer on the PGA Tour. Let's talk about setup here for a second. Uh, right here, your back is a little bit more hunched over than I would like. You can see the difference here with his. He's a little bit more upright. Okay, that would help. We could work on his hips are a little bit more back. You're sitting down like you're sitting on a bar stool. We could work on that. Also, your foot alignment looks good, but your shoulders look like they're open to the left. I would want to have you bring your shoulders more out, and we can do that again. By the other video, I talked about your ball position, moving it back a little bit, and also getting your right arm back so we get everything square. Okay, let's start with Gary here. When he goes back, we can see that his club stays outside this line here, which is good. That's a good one-piece takeaway. Okay, when you do it, let's see what happens here. That looks pretty good there. They're definitely outside the line. All right, let's continue over here with Gary. Now, pay attention to his hands. As he hinges, he's going to hinge a little bit more upright. You go a little bit more around. Okay, I would want to work on that. And also, too, let's look at the position at the top here. He's got a nice full shoulder turn, core turn. You can see you've gone down a little bit with your head. Uh, it's like a pretty good position to hit from. All right, let's watch this position here. So this is where you're really off and we're gonna work on this. Let's watch how his hands come down. Okay, watch that arrow. He is going to drop it straight down on that arrow. Wow. Inside out. Swing plane is excellent. Coming straight down. Inside out. Heads down there. Okay, let's watch yours. Okay, let's see what your hands do. So you can see right there quite a bit of difference with that move outside in. You start with your shoulders. Okay, and we'll continue down. And then it's just a trickling. Uh, everything compounds from there. So let's go back up here to Gary. He starts down. Boom, you can see his lower body driving. That's one thing I want you to look at. I'm going to put an arrow here. You see when he starts his downswing here, 
His lower body is going to drive lateral to the target. Your hips look to stay pretty still. So you start more with your upper body. So you come up here and then watch your hips. They just don't really do anything and your shoulders start down swing and twist and go over the top. Big difference when he comes down, he goes lateral, which makes the club drop more inside out. But again, a lot of that is your setup. We're going to work on your setup position, getting everything square, where your shoulders are not open and more square to the target. And then also, which will help you turn your torso and your core more behind the ball, which will help you drop it more inside out. So there's some things that are causing it. You don't just want to work on, okay, I'm going to just, from this setup position, start swinging inside out. No, there's some things that are causing that. So. You've got a lot of potential, you're strong, very athletic, and that can tell by the way you swing the club. We just need to work on some technical things.